Hello everyone. In this INR number 102, we are going to discuss about another important uh, PYQ which is a retinoblastoma. So what is retinoblastoma? Retinoblastoma is a most common intraocular malignancy in children. So this itself was a question, right? Most common intraocular malignancy, mal uh, malignancy in children will be a retinoblastoma. And what is the origin of the retinoblastoma? Mostly it is arising from the immature cell. And which immature cell? Immature retinal cells, right? So their, their precursor is immature retinal cell. That is why the name is retinoblastoma and they have autosomal dominant pattern of inheritance. So please remember this is again very important PYQ. Retinoblastoma is autosomal dominant. And what gene is having mutation? RB1 gene mutation. Chromosome location is chromosome 13Q14. So RB gene mutation on chromosome 13Q14 and mostly they are sporadic. 60% cases are sporadic most commonly and hereditary will be only 40%. What we need to remember clinical point of view, whenever you are seeing a sporadic patient, they will be unilateral retinoblastoma. And when you are seeing hereditary, they will be bilateral. So otherwise clinical way, if I want to say that unilateral patient, you can think they are sporadic. And when you are seeing bilateral, it means the other family members would have been also affected. That is why hereditary. What is the most common presentation? So most common presentation in this patient is a leukocoria. Leukocoria is white pupillary reflexes as you can see here. Right. So now you can see this leukocoria is the most common presentation of the retinoblastoma. Normally we will have red eye reflexes, but that has been lost and it has been replaced by white pupillary reflexes. So that is why it is a abnormal leukocoria and this is the most common presentation. This is the most common. Next most common is strabismus. And third one is the secondary glaucoma with bupthalmos, right? So these are the in order. Most common, leukocoria. Second most common is strabismus. And third most common is secondary glaucoma with bupthalmos, right? So you can see here they are having, is the, this baby is having strabismus. And in this eye, they are having retinoblastoma, right? Here you can see that retinoblastoma and bupthalmos both are present in this patient, right? Most common second tumor. See, uh, when you are seeing a patient of retinoblastoma and you have treated it, what you will be expecting in the future? So future he may have a bone cancer called as osteogenic sarcoma or osteosarcoma. So this is very important PYQ. Uh, retinoblastoma patient have an increased risk of which bone tumor? Osteogenic sarcoma or osteosarcoma. Trilateral retinoblastoma is when you see bilateral retinoblastoma along with penealoblastoma. That is called as trilateral retinoblastoma. Both eyes are having retinoblastoma and then penealoblastoma so that will be called as trilateral retinoblastoma and this was the question in the exam most common route of spread so most common route of spread will be the optic nerve through the optic nerve they will be having spread of the tumor right how we will give the diagnosis so when we are going for a diagnosis of this patient what we need to remember that calcification especially that intratumoral calcification right it is nearly pathognomonic of the retinoblastoma this is the line of person right it is pathognomonic of retinoblastoma calcification right and how you will uh, analyze them by using the b scan ultrasound so when you are going to see the b scan ultrasound you will notice two things number one dome shaped cauliflower like mass and in this mass you will see the intratumoral calcification now you can see this is the b scan ultrasound and here you can notice this is the dome shaped or cauliflower like you can see this is what i have written cauliflower like mass dome shaped mass right so number one and in this dome shaped mass you can see the areas of the calcification so you can see there are small small areas of the calcification right so dome shaped cauliflower like mass along with intratumoral calcification we can detect it by b scan ultrasound ct scan usually we avoid in children but in window through the window we can see the ct scan there is a window ct scan called as in that we will be seeing the retrolentral intraocular dystrophic calcification now you can see here in this right eye right see left eye is normal right eye you can see the areas of calcification and that is what we can detect in the ct scan right and mri is a investigation of choice this is the mri where you are seeing affected eye this is the uh, tumor mass and extending behind into the optic nerve so that is why it is the investigation of choice it will tell you about the extent of the tumor spread involvement of the optic nerve that is why investigation of choice will be the mri right so b scan ct scan mri we are using it for diagnosis confirmation can be done by 
histopathological examination so when you are going to uh, you know take out the tumor mass you can see this is the tumor mass right this is the tumor mass and behind the tumor mass you can see this is the area of chalky calcification right so gross examination chalky calcification along with the tumor mass will be giving you high you know a uh, suspicion for the retinoblastoma diagnosis and when we will take the section from here and you will examine them on microscopic examination you will see the central area is clear empty nothing is there and cells are surrounding them these are the tumor cell a small round blue tumor cell so a small round blue tumor cells are surrounding so this is like a flower petal which is called as rosette when central part is empty that is called as true rosette so that is why these are having two things small round blue cell tumor flexner wintersteiner true rosette right so whenever you are seeing eye mass right a small round blue cell tumor flexner wintersteiner true rosette you have to assume that it is a retinoplastoma right and what will be the treatment treatment of choice is enucleation and in chemotherapy we can use sev right we remember by cev and that is carboplatin etoposide and pincristin so revise this topic from here already examiner had asked that flexner winter uh, steiner rosette and and uh, leukocoria was the question recently asked exam so you can expect more question from this topic keep revising this topic best wishes to all of you